Boxersandbutters.com here from San Antonio. Omar, how would you assess your performance tonight? Well, lackluster, I guess. It was all heart and guts, and we all know that that's what I rely on if all else fails. But I did, I did the best I could. Um, things happened, you know, before the fight that were out of our control. And like I said, we just do our best to come out with the victory. Omar, you were uh, approximately 11 pounds over for the original weigh-in. What happened? What went wrong? Or what was it that happened in camp that made you come in that big? Like I said, there was nothing to do with camp. It was just things that were out of our control. And uh, that's it. We, you know, we, we didn't want to postpone the fight. We just wanted to give the fans a good show, and we went through with the fight. That's, that's all I can say about that. Real quick, staying on the size, uh, I think people are going to assume that you just blew up and you don't want to lose the weight, but seeing you tonight, there is a lot of muscle definition. Are you just outgrowing this, the weight class bigger than you thought you would? Well, that's one thing that I didn't want to think about, but my body is getting bigger, and um, I want to stay at the 140. I want to do something there before I move up to any other weight class. And we're trying our best. We're honestly trying our best, and you know we're 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 finding our way. We're learning how to how to do things right, and uh, I think we're still in the lear in the learning process. So you're expecting to stay at 140? I want to stay at 140, yes, sir. Did you have fun out there? Like you know, you, you everybody talks about you know you've said this is a job and things like that, but I mean, did, was that fun for you? Um, yes and no. I mean, yes, it's fun because as a boxer, you know, you grew up watching these movies like Rocky and and uh, Southpaw and different sorts of movies and you see these guys beating each other up and the crowd goes crazy and it's just something that I guess you kind of have in the back of your mind every time you go into a fight but living it and getting hit you know the punches hurt so you don't want to get into these types of fights but I don't know it's just something like I said you know it was out of our control and we did our best to maintain it and you know I'm just glad we came out with a W. Was this the fight you expected? No, I did not expect this fight. I expected a different fight for myself, and uh, I just, like I said, I did the best I could. How do the hands feel? Hands feel good. I mean, they're, they're, they look like hands, so <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> that's a good face. thing. My face looks like a face, just a beat-up face. Omar, what did DeMarco tell you, or what did you tell him after the fight? Well, it's just, you know, give each other a sign of respect. You know, we, we both go out there and give it our all. And just to make it to the fight, we have to sacrifice and do so much in training camp. And uh, I don't know, it's just, you know, we're just glad that we get to, to fight. Moving you forward. You don't think you broke anything, Omar? No. No, sir. Moving forward, Bruce. Omar, your camp and your corner, is it going to remain the same? Yeah, I don't see why not. You know, what enabled you to be successful in those last couple rounds there? It's just my heart, my balls. You know, metaphorically speaking, of course. Uh, I just, I, I have no quit in me. And regardless, you know, I've said this before, with Arakawa, I had, you know, two f fractured hands. And I went out there and I got the W. So that's just in me to, to not quit. And, you know, I, when the, the going gets tough, I get tougher. Were you, were you concerned about getting the decision when you were standing there? No, not at all. This question for Omar Sr. How did you feel in the corner seeing what was going on in the, uh, in, in the fight? Well, the Marco, I mean, the Marco is tough, and I thought Marco was gonna take care of business early in the early rounds. You don't want to see your boxer, especially the earlier son, going through another tough fight like that. So, uh, but uh, the Marco came ready also, and, and it was another war. And uh, as, as a coach and as a father, like I said, you don't you don't want that. What can you do different moving forward in camp? You gotta do different things in training camp. A not so well kept secret is that John Molina's talked himself into a fight with you. I know that you're going to take some time off, but it was that where this was headed? Do you think that that's ultimately the goal? I honestly don't care where you know who's next or what's next. I just prepare for the fight and I do my best to come out with the W. Would you like to see Omar take a softer touch before a bigger fight next, or, or just go on his schedule? Whatever Al Heyman has, uh, he's got to get ready, and whatever they bring to the table, he's, he's got to go. What was your game plan, Omar? Did you were you able to follow? It? Well, we had a different game plan before, you know, things happened. But uh, the ultimate game plan is to come out with the W, and that, you know, we we went through with that. Well, you seem to want to switch from orthodox to southpaw, him being a southpaw. Uh, were you, at least early on, was that part of your game plan, and was that effective? Yeah, we want to, f we want to see how it's going to work, and if it's going to work. So we, we want to test it out in the early rounds. Did he ever hurt was you your de defense just not He hits hard, but I mean, uh, I wasn't hurt, hurt, but he did hit me with some shots that I felt. Do you think that's got to uh, 
have something to do with you being uh, a bit larger tonight? I have no idea. You know, some type, some fights, you, my jab gets hurt, and other fights it doesn't. Other other fights, you know, my right foot feels good, and other fights it doesn't. So you never know. You've been one of Al's constant fighters who's delivered entertaining bouts. Do you think you have earned the right to get whoever you want, Broner, anybody you come up to him with, do you think you've earned the right to get them? Honestly, it's I don't even care about that. It's up to my team, my dad, and uh, my promo my promoter, well, Al Heyman and, and his team if, if they want to put me up against whoever they want. Do you have a question? Omar, you Omar this you. guy just came off a brief retirement and then puts on a fight like this. You know, um, talk about just this challenge. What do you take from this fight? What do you learn from it? Ah, uh, well, that there are unforeseen circumstances, and what I've learned is that I'm able to withstand and overcome those. So I guess that's all I can say. What was unforeseen about it? Just you getting hit, hit that? No, I mean in in camp. You know the the weight and everything. You know that's things happen, and we just do our best to maintain the situation. And, can can you, know. you can you tell us a bit what, what happened in we're camp? Actually, we're, we're done.